Hey y'all, hopefully you've seen by now that I won't be doing a live video this week, but instead I'll be posting to stories and on my page updates on tips and tricks for travel and safe events during a pandemic. So I'm getting ready to load up and do my final check and get on the road. So stay on the lookout for my progress. everybody's having a good Friday we've been just taking it easy this morning had breakfast and we've been catching up on the news but I wanted to give you guys some background on how we started preparing and planning for the shower and then a little bit of fun information on how Audrey and I met. so our group that is hosting and planning the shower started uh, making plans in May and we knew coronavirus was going to be a possibility of something that we would have to work around. So we just made our timeline and started making plans for what we would ideally like to do and just decided we would discuss things and make updates as needed. So towards the end of July, we knew that we probably were going to have to do things a little bit differently. So our first step was to talk to Audrey because it's her shower and we wanted to make sure that we did what she was most comfortable with. So we presented a few options of a drive-by shower or a virtual shower and ultimately decided on a drive-by. We went with e-invites so that we could update our guests easily as things changed and if plans needed to change even more. And then we created a sign up so that people can sign up for their own individual time slot so that they're able to sit down at a distance and spend some time talking to Audrey, give them their gift and hang out just. So just like any other shower, all the hosts have signed up for items to bring and we'll just be starting to gather those things and get the basics set up so that we don't have too much to do tomorrow. And we'll be doing the last minute stuff today of things that we really needed to wait for uh, and we'll be wearing a mask all the time. So I'll keep you guys posted and updated on our progress. So Charlie and I are hanging out on the porch while Audrey gets ready for the day. Say hi, Charlie. He's so cute. Uh, so I'm gonna just tell you guys a little bit about how Audrey and I got to know each other. So we both grew up going to a church camp called Camp Bratton Green that is just outside Canton, Mississippi. And we grew up going there but did not really meet each other until I guess towards the end of high school, beginning of college, met briefly but didn't really know each other. And then we were lucky enough to both get selected for permanent staff where we live there all summer and we do all of the programming for the main areas um, of camp and we were both on waterfront so we were lifeguarding together and we became fast friends very quickly um, just in the first few days that we arrived. And the rest is pretty much history. We've been best friends ever since. And I'm so obsessed that I get us best friend jewelry all the time. Um, these are our 10 year friendiversary rings that I got us last year and they each have five little fake diamonds. Um, and so I'm wearing that this weekend in honor of that. So that's kind of our story. showtime we just got everything set up and we're waiting on our first guest to arrive so I'm gonna go around and take some pictures of everything so you guys can see what we've got set up um, it's a little rainy so we've had to make a little bit of an adjustment but we had a backup plan so uh, hope y'all enjoy okay so this is where we've got our tent set up lovely outdoor setup and we've got flowers and our cookies spare masks always need those in case somebody forgets it and we come up to the porch and here's Hodge our guest of honor I have a, a question for the doctor what's that uh, if I'm sitting over here in my corner uh -huh. um, and we're outside I yep. have masks but do I need to wear them the whole time so if people are six feet away which they are Olivia's six feet away no need for your
just got home, pulled in the garage, and wanted to say thank you if you followed along for my stories on how to do a safe event like a baby shower or a wedding shower in a pandemic. Um, my takeaways are wear your mask, keep your distance, and stay hygienic. So I'll post a summary um, in the next few days, but hope y'all enjoyed it.